Hello there guys and welcome back to another Fever 21 career mode video and in today's video guys we are going to be doing a Spurs rebuild. And so as we know then Nuno is the new manager at Spurs and last season Spurs ended up finishing 7th in the Premier League table with 62 points just missing out on Europa League football by 3 points guys. So again in this rebuild we're going to take over Spurs as Nuno, make some signings, get them back in the Champions League and hopefully win it with them by the end of the video. So then just before we go ahead then and get into this Spurs rebuild, if you do enjoy today's video, please don't forget to go down below and hit the like button. We hit over 250 likes, guys. That'd be amazing. And also, if you are new here, don't forget, hit the red subscribe button down below. So there's one last thing then. Let's get into the rules before we do fully get into taking a look at this Spurs team and seeing where we can improve it. So the rules, the first rule being all games simulated. Second rule being can make any transfers. The third rule being must play the Champions League final. So that is the aim. In every build, rebuild is to get to a Champions League final. And then the fourth and final rule is to sign four Portuguese players into this team. So where do we start then with this Spurs side? I think we start with the one and only Harry Kane up front. And I say, guys, if Man City do come in with an offer, I feel like we have to go ahead and accept it in this rebuild. But again, we're going to try and keep him for as long as possible. And I just hope Man City don't try and go ahead and sign him in this rebuild. But again, this Spurs side... It is a very, very good side, just at the moment lacking a little bit in defence. So I think that's our first, first priority. Get another centre-back into the team. Maybe look at getting a right-back as well into the team as well. Aurea, again, decent right-back, but 27 years of age isn't going to grow anymore. So I think a centre-back and a right-back is first on the list. And then maybe start looking at improving this centre-attacking mid-roll or CDM role. Just one, one player, maybe one of these two positions would be pretty good in the first season. But if not, a centre-back and a right-back would do. And so with that in mind then, let's take a look at the transfer budget. And we've currently got 73 million, 75. You could probably make this just a little bit higher here. Let's move that to 250. So 90 million to spend is a transfer budget. That's good because I do want to go big on a big centre-back this season and then try and get, you know, equally as good right-back. But again, I want to focus more on the centre-back position. So with this first season as well, with Spurs, we aren't actually in any European competitions. We aren't in the Europa League, we're not in the Champions League. So surely, this season, with new signings into the squad, we should be making it into at least the Europa League by the end of this first season. Well, here we go into our first signing in this rebuild, straight into transfer market, went ahead and signed Calabria, which is originally from, I'm pretty certain, AC Milan, did make the move to Atletico Madrid. We have gone ahead and signed him for around about 28 million, and I can't wait to see how he does this season. And so we are starting to already start selling some of the players in the team as well then. Serge Aurier we managed to get 20.1 million for him, 16 million, and to the transfer budget, Harry Winks has been sold as well, and we get 16.5 added to the budget. So we're just about to wrap up this contract here then for Skriniar. And guys, it's cost us over 100 million to try and get him into the team. 111 million Conte wanted for him. He would not go any lower at all. I tried 95. He was having none of it. But let's go ahead here. Remove the bonus. Let's edit the wage. Let's just up that there just by 10. And let's try and submit that. See if we can get Skriniar into the team. Again, 111 million. It's just cost us. We've got nothing left in the transfer budget. But let's have a see. Will he go ahead and agree to that contract now? Come on, Skriniar, and he is. There we go, Skriniar is going to join the team. So as you guys would have noticed then, we actually haven't signed a Portuguese player as of yet. An Italian player, a Sokovian player, and let's have a see. Danny Rose, 4.4 million for him. I think that's pretty happy. Let's go ahead and accept that. Lamella, two offers coming in for him. Let's accept both of them and see if we can get him out the door and get one more sign in him. But here we go then into our final transfer for this first transfer. Now went ahead and signed this Portuguese centre back, six foot three guys, eighty strength, seventy nine sprint speed, unreal. And again, I think we signed him for five point nine million. And I think him and Skriniar is going to be a future partnership of this club. So here is then how the team is looking after this first transfer window. Before we go ahead and sim any games this season, I'm pretty happy with it. Got to say, struggling a little bit in the CDM role. You see, and Dom Blair put him there for now. But uh, we could play Sissoko, could play Eric Dyer if we wanted to. Sissoko, how old? 30 years of age. Yeah, so I want Ndombele there. 23, hopefully he can grow and then maybe in time try and get him a role further up the pitch. Maybe centre mid or cam if we can. Maybe change formation at some point. But again, pretty happy with the team. We've got a right back in there. We've got Skriniar in the team. Him and Alderweireld for this first season. We're going to try and get Di I think that's how you pronounce his name maybe. We're going to try and get him some game time. Sanchez some game time as well. But obviously Sanchez is going to try and offload him if he can. But um, yeah, definitely happy with the team. Let's go ahead now and see how we do in this first season. So here is then how we're doing halfway through the season, guys. And as you can see, I'm quite surprised. I don't know why, but we're in third place with 44 points. We're quite a bit away 
from United there on 36 points. We're only three points behind Man City. So again, this team's doing really well. Now, I have been trying to do a little bit of transfer business whilst we've been simming games as well. You can see we have just sold Danny Rose and we got 3.4 million to a transfer budget. And so just talking about a transfer budget then, we actually do have quite a lot of money here to spend if we do want to. You can see move all this wage budget all the way down. And we've got 56 million to spend, guys. Who could we spend that on? So let's take a look at the team then. I'm not really too sure where we could spend this 56 million. You can see the Celso there is actually higher rated than Deli Ali. So I'm guessing maybe we should start playing him at center attacking mid as opposed to Deli Ali there. So let's get him into the team. But uh, but again, yeah, I'm not really too sure where we could spend it this season. I think what we should do is just sim the rest of the season now because we are in third place, so quite a bit above my United. And then maybe look at the start of next season and then I think we'll have a better idea of where to improve. And so with that money then, we did have it left over, guys. I did go ahead and make a sign. I went ahead and signed Andre Silva, Portuguese striker at Frankfurt. Really underrated striker in Bundesliga. Signed him into the team again. Amazing. It could be the backup to Harry Kane. So we're just simming our last couple of games here. Let's see where we do finish in the Premier League, guys. I was so surprised before to see us in third place. And we actually are into the FA Cup final, I do believe. And the last couple of games, we got two wins and two losses. But let's have a see where we are. So we've got the FA Cup final coming up against Wolves. But where do we finish in the Premier League? Got to be top four. And it's third place. So we did manage to keep that third place spot. Only one point behind Man City. Liverpool smashing everyone in the league with 97 points. But let's have a see then. Can we win a trophy this season, guys? The Emirates FA Cup taking on Wolves. Nuno taking on his former side. Now, I'm pretty happy with how this team has done this season. Grown really well. And let's have a see. Let's just quick sim this. Can we get the win? Surely we're getting the... What? Wolves beating us 2-1. And Dumbele grabbing us a goal. But Raul Jimenez and Neto scoring the goals. And they walk away with the FA Cup. So, I honestly thought then, guys, we would have got the win against Wolves in that game. You can see the semi-finals. We beat Man City 1-0 in that game to get through to the final. Then to lose to Wolves. Nuno facing his former side didn't end well. But Premier League, we finished third. FA Cup, we came runners-up. Carabao Cup, I don't actually know where we was. Okay, Liverpool beat United in the final. Super Cup, let's just take a look. Okay, Bayern get a 3-2 win. Champions League, which we are going to play in the next season. Still to be played, Bayern and Real Madrid. Let's have a quick see right now. Let's just sim till this date right now. And let's have a see. So, again, this season, all round, I feel we've done really well. I'm just so glad we're straight into the Champions League because this team is definitely ready for that. Um, let's have a see right now. Let's have a see who did go ahead and win the Champions League. And the winner is going to be Bayern Munich 4-3. Wow, what a final. And Europa League winner is going to be Villarreal 2-1. So just before we go ahead then and get stuck into the second season in this rebuild, let's take a look who scored the most goals this season. It was Harry Kane, as to be expected. But Son... Only six goals behind him. Harry Kane, 28 goals at five assists. Son, 22 goals and seven assists. Top assist there, maybe Ndombele, and it was Ndombele with 10, and who has actually grown up by four overalls this season. But let's get straight into the second season then, guys. And I do think if things do go well for us this season, you just never know. We could be finishing this rebuild off in the second season. But let's not get carried away. Let's get straight into this Spurs side. So again, Dejalo hasn't really grown as I expected him to. Only going up by the two overalls last season. Now, I think Alderweireld might have to come back into the team if we do want to try and, you know, go far in the Champions League this season. So, I think we'll do that. Keep Di Giallo on the bench. Sanchez might try and look at maybe keeping him in the side because, again, Di Giallo just hasn't grown as I want him to. And now, the other, only other position, maybe right back. But, again, I think Cala, Calabria, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that, should grow more this season. But right wing, Bergwijn, again, could be doing a little bit better there. 83 rated, could maybe look at maybe getting, I don't know, Bernardo Silva for the right wing. I'm not too sure. But again, apart from that, maybe just, you know, increase the strength of the bench. But again, the team's looking really good. So in terms of the transfer budget for this second season, we've got loads of money to spend, guys. 182 million. Now, are we going to spend it all? Probably not. I might look at making maybe literally two signings in this window because I don't think we need many signings for this team right now. So again... Two signings, maybe one for the first team and then maybe one for the bench. But here is then our big money signing of season two, guys. Went ahead and signed Trincao from Barcelona. Now, I do believe in real life he obviously did make the move to, uh, to Wolves on loan. Now, I think there actually is a loan to buy option in that deal. So, again, Nuno, we've got to sign some Portuguese players and Trincao. It made perfect sense. And here we are then, guys. An even bigger signing into the team in Season 2. Just went ahead and signed Bernardo Silva. Almost cost us just a little bit under £100 million to bring him into the team. 
But again, can't wait to see how he does and performs and helps the team this season. So I think that's going to be it for this transfer window. I feel like the team has, you know, again, it's hard to really say where to improve it. It really is, again, the only position now that it's sort of left is kind of the right back position. 82 rated, but again, I still think that is good enough this season. And you can see the bench as well. We've got Andre Silva, Deli Ali, Bergvine, Trincao, Dijalo, Sanchez and Joe Hart as well. So again, this team should be more than good enough to go ahead and at least make the final of the Champions League. And even the board have set an objective for us to win the Premier League title, but also reach the final of the Champions League. So again, guys, they know how strong this team is. And even I expect us to at least reach the final. But with that being said then, let's have a see what group we have got. And we've actually got quite a favourable group here. We've got Villarreal, Moscow and Rangers. We should be easily topping this group, guys. Getting a win in every game. We've got to be on AC Group A. You've got PSG and Leicester in that group. And again, our group, we should be winning that no problem. I've also gone ahead then and put Bernardo Silva and Trincao both on development plans to convert them to right midfielders. Now, Bernardo Silva is up first and his overall stays the same, guys. Just earned the trophy as well but that's unfortunate let's have a see now when Trincao completes his will his overall increase well let's have a see then Trincao from right winger to right mid surely he's got increased by at least one overall and not nothing at all guys what am I doing wrong here let's get him inverted wide winger and let's see how he does so here you have it then guys the halfway point of season two and we are in first place we're eight points ahead of Man City nine points ahead of Liverpool and this team we've got right now, guys, is unreal. Only one defeat so far. And in the Carabao Cup as well, we actually are in the semi-finals taking on Leeds. Arsenal will going to be taking on Fulham. So we could have another final on our hands. But hopefully this time we can go ahead and actually win it. But here you guys can see then our Champions League group. And as expected, we got all the points in that group. 18.6 wins. And like I say, guys, if we didn't manage to win every game, I'd be a little bit worried but again, we made it through into the round of 16 where we're going to be taking on Dortmund. So for the halfway point then, again, in terms of transfers, where do I look to improve? Do I finally look to improve this right back position? Maybe, because we could do, we need one more Portuguese signing for the rules in this. So obviously we signed Bernardo Silva, we've also signed Andre Silva, we've also signed Trincao and Dijalo. So that's four Portuguese players into this team. So we do need one more Portuguese player maybe a right back a portuguese right back could finish and complete this team so we have gone ahead then and signed our final portuguese player into the side ricardo pereira and who was actually at sevilla guys obviously leicester must have sold him signed him for around about 60 million cost us a lot of money but again should be the last piece now to the puzzle but here we go then let's go ahead and add him into this team and then there we go we should be making it all the way through into the final of the champions league right now possibly winning it you never know but let's obviously pereira there and again, this team, un unreal, absolutely unreal. Let's have a see now how we do in the rest of the season. So we have actually then been able to make it to the Carabao Cup final where we do meet Arsenal, guys. Let's go ahead. Let's sim this. Can we win a trophy this season? And we do. We get a 4-1 win. Harry Kane with a hat-trick. Ricardo Pereira, the new signing, scoring as well. And I'm so glad, guys. We definitely deserve a trophy at some point. So as you guys can see then, we are through into the quarterfinals of the Champions League. We are going to be taking on Benfica and I'm going to show you guys us simming the first leg right now. You can see in the round of 16, we did end up beating Dortmund 5-4 over two legs. But let's get into this first leg now against Benfica. Let's see how we do. And the team basically fully fit there apart from maybe Ndombele. But let's go ahead. Let's quick sim. Should be getting a win here at home against Benfica. And we do we get a 4-0 win. Harry Kane though missing a penalty. But that's an amazing first leg. So we did just manage to go ahead then and get a 4-0 win in the first leg. Again, we should be winning the second leg as well, even though we're away from home. And we do, we get a 2-1 win. Ricardo Pereira scoring once again for us in Dombley scoring. But let's have a see right now who we've got in the next round. So in the next round then, we do have Barcelona, guys. And you can see we're outnumbered right now. Three Spanish teams in the semi-finals. We're the only English team left. And you can see Atletico Madrid beating Liverpool in the quarterfinals. But again, Barcelona over two legs. It's not going to be easy. But let's go ahead then and get into this first leg against Barcelona. You can see Barcelona's team quite interesting there. John Stones, Laporte at the back, Martial out on the left, Griezmann up front. No side of Messi. Guessing he may be retired. That's all I can imagine. But let's go ahead. Come on. Harry Kane up front. Got to be scoring against the three at the back. And Son is going to be the goal scorer. Not much happened in that game. But we did manage to get the 1 0 win. But here we go then, guys. The second leg of the semi finals taking on at Barcelona. This is massive for us right now because if we win this, we are literally one game away from getting into the final of the Champions League. Let's take a look how the other game did end. And okay, still not played the second leg as of yet. 
Um, let's have a team top, top scorer is Neymar's son with seven goals, though. So he's on good form. Andre Silva as well, seven goals. But let's go ahead. Let's see right now. Can we get the win? Messi is going to be in the team this time. Des playing at right mid. Martial still on the side. Strong, strong Barcelona team. And let's go ahead. Let's quick sim this. Come on, guys. Away from home. And we get another 1-0 win. Once again, Sun the goal scorer. And nothing seems to happen in these games against Barcelona. It really is quite bizarre. But uh, but yeah, there we go. The 1-0 win. And we're through to the final. But there we go, then, guys. The date is set for the Champions League final. Taking on Real Madrid, who beat Atletico Madrid 4-2 in the semi-finals. Again, our semi-final games against Barcelona wasn't the best. Scorn, uh, Sun, sorry, scoring twice though, getting us through into the final and I can't wait to play it. But let's have a see then how we have finished off in the Premier League, also the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup before we do get into this game. In the Premier League, we finished first. Wow, okay. 95 points. Liverpool did catch up in the end, only three points behind us. But uh, yeah, what a season that is. Finishing first in the Premier League. So we won the Premier League. Also into the final of the Champions League. It's, it's, it's unreal, guys. And so in terms of the FA Cup then, as you can see, it's Burnley who's actually going to be taking on Man City in the final. Burnley beating Chelsea on penalties. Wow, okay. Never seen Burnley in a final of a domestic cup before. Let's take a look at the Carabao Cup. And the winner obviously was us. How did I almost forget there? Getting a 4-1 win against Arsenal. The Europa League has the final been played as of yet. It's not been played. And you've got Juventus taking on Inter Milan. Well, here we go then, guys, into this Champions League final in this rebuild. We're going to be playing at Wembley Stadium as well. I can't wait to get into this. I can't wait to test drive this team as well and just see how good it really is. Just take a look at Real Madrid's team. You can see they've got Wijnaldum, Neuhaus in midfield as well, Benucci and Ramos at the back. Wow, okay. They have built some team over the two seasons. But here we go. Let's get into the final. Well, here it is then, guys. The Champions League final in this rebuild. And I've got, to, I've got to admit, I didn't expect us to get here in two seasons. I really didn't expect us to. I think that first season, the signings were really on point. I think Skriniar, the best signing we could have made in that first season, did allow us to get all the way here to this Champions League final, guys. And again, winning the Premier League as well. Unreal. Absolutely unreal second season. But let's just hope right now we can top it off with a win. In this Champions League final. Again, our team, I feel like it's the strongest it could be right now. Harry Kane in prime, in prime form. Let's all hope he can bag a goal in this game. But here we go. Let's get into it right now against Real Madrid. We're playing at Wembley. Let's get into it. Benzema, there we go. Skriniar cutting that one out at the back. Here we go. Ricardo Pereira now. Going to play it inside. The Celso picking it up. Okay, getting tightly marked. Here we go. Harry Kane. Maybe out to left hand side for Sun in behind. Look at the pace from Sun right now. Here we go. Sun on the ball. Gonna roll it. Okay, never mind. Oh, the shot in the end. The guys didn't work out how I wanted it to. Oh, here we go. Benzema in the box. No, Benzema. Oh, that's a great save. You've got a race keeping us in this one. 13 minutes in. Both sides playing really well at the moment. But again, Hugo Lloris pulling off a massive save. Go, La Celso. Okay, Bernardo Silva. It's got space on this right hand side. Let's have a see. Bernardo Silva. Gonna take it inside. Here we go. Lo Celso, the touch, the finish is there. Oh my God, what a goal that is from Lo Celso, guys, to make it 1-0 in this Champions League final. What a goal. What an absolute goal that is. The 1-2 with Bernardo Silva, as you can see. And again, paid off, paid off so well. And we've already got the lead here against Real Madrid. Just trying to cut out this Real Madrid attack at the moment. You can see Eden Hazard now making his way into the area. There we go, Son. Let's just clear this one at the back, at the back because... Don't know why Real Madrid were allowed so much space there to move. But here we go in Dombele. Maybe forward. Harry Kane. Now we know he's not got the best pace. Harry Kane going to try and hold it up. Try and play it. Oh, unlucky. Oh, no way. Asensio in behind. The 1-2 was so... Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. It's still doing me. Still doing us. No, Asensio blocks. Skriniar, that is amazing. You've really, really recovered us there. Harry Kane can see a great run. Here we go. Lo Celso once again to make it two in this game. And he does make it two in this game. Lo Celso... This time, Harry Kane with the assist. What a goal that is. And there we go, guys. Now 2-0 up against Real Madrid. Now, as we've just seen, Real Madrid have come very close. But that, that is an unreal counter-attack. Now, we know Harry Kane hasn't got the best pace. But in terms of creative and making you know space for other people, you can see, look at how many people around Harry Kane there. Allows Lo Celso the space. There you go. Finishes that one off. Now, two goals in his Champions League final. Oh, Benzema, Wijnaldum, okay, finds it in Hazard, Hazard just taking it outside right now, we've got to be careful because we're about to go into half time, 
Going to have time to that up is a great place to be right now. So again, let's just let's just stay defensive and let's not let Benzema or when Aldum or anyone like that just get a shot on goal. So I was going to make some changes at half time, but right now I don't feel like there's any need to make any changes. I was going to bring Andre Silva on. I still might bring him on at some point. So I do want to try these players out. Again, Deli Ali, 83 rated. I do, do I do really want to try him out. So yeah, let's get started in the second half and just see how it goes. Pass forward, Harry Kane. Okay, ball in behind here, Son. Son just needs one goal here to level Neymar's top scoring record in the Champions League. Son. Son, take it on his own. The finish there from Son, and it's a great save from Courtois. That's a great save. Okay, Real Madrid playing some really good football right now. Benzema, okay, went all the out wide. Sweden Hazard, Ricardo Pereiro with the block. Hoiberg, just able to help us get this one away. Lo Celso, here we go. Human Son. Son, just keep going. He's got Carvajal on him right now. Son, played the pass. Okay, Lo Celso, just the first touch, man. Let him down. Human Son, okay, okay. Go on, Harry Kane. Go on, finish that, make it free, and there we go. Harry Kane makes it free in this game, guys. 68 minutes in. That is unreal. That is unreal. Son just needs one goal to level Neymar's goal scoring record in the Champions League. Can we do it? I really wanted to do it there and then, but Harry Kane, look at the space he was in. He was dying for the balls to be played. We played it. Harry Kane, one on one. He's gonna, he's gonna get that in all day, every day. And there we go, and I'm freeing the luck, guys, against Real Madrid. Maybe once again. Here we go. Harry Kane. Harry Kane, just gonna keep this one. The run, the run is there. Lo Celso, okay, is he offside? And he's offside in the end, end guys. Could have got a hat-trick there with him. Uh, Dele Alli, yeah, let's get Dele Alli on. Let's have a see what he can do in the last 15 minutes or so. No, Real Madrid, Real Madrid, let's just keep the clean sheet. Hoiberg, that is great. Regulon, let's just get it out from the back right now. Real Madrid coming close numerous amount of times, but our back line right now, guys, really saving us. Uh, Regulon, okay, Sun on the overlap. Here we go, Sun. Could we take it all the way with Sun right now? Let's try. Sun, that's great. Sun, go on, the rainbow flick, the finish. Imagine, I just imagine, guys. Alderweireld once again at the back again. Alderweireld and Skriniar at the back have been unreal. Here we go, Deli Ali. Okay, Deli Ali's first pass. Didn't go to plan. Benzema, gonna watch him, gonna stay with him. Okay, let's go to, let's go to Mendy. Okay, Odegaard's now on. Okay, let's just be careful now. 88 minutes in. There we go. There we go. Clean sheet. We've still got it. Bernardo Silva. Maybe on the counter now. And Dombele. Harry Kane. Harry Kane make a run. Okay, there we go. Is he on side still? Is he still on side? It is not, guys. And there we go then, guys. We have done it. We have completed this rebuild in two seasons. Which, again, I was still, still quite surprised. Again, first season, I think Skriniar being literally the star signing. Getting us into that top four, being solid at the back, and you could tell it's all down to him because him and Alderweireld, Alderweireld as well. I can't forget about him. But them two in this game against Real Madrid, absolute you know rocks at the back, not allowing anyone any time or space on the ball, and again unreal. Again, also some other amazing, amazing signings on the way. Five Portuguese players. We made it. We did it. Bernardo Silva and Ricardo Pereira coming in as the last two signings. But there we go, the Champions League title, guys. We did it in two seasons. Again, unreal. And not only did we go ahead and do this, we won the Carabao Cup as well. And also the Premier League. So again, three trophies in the second season. It's not, it's not bad at all, is it? And Hugo Lloris is going to be the one to lift this Champions League trophy. And there we go, guys. We have completed the Spurs rebuild. But there we go then, guys. What a way to finish off this Spurs rebuild with a 3-0 win over Real Madrid. Now, let's take a look who won actually in the Europa League. And it goes to Juventus, guys. A 2-0 win in the final. So just before we do go ahead then and finish off in this rebuild, let's take a look who is the top scorer in Season 2. And he goes to Sun. Wow, okay. Sun, 30 goals, 17 assists this season. That is world-class numbers. Literally world-class numbers there. You can see Lo Celso, though, level on goals with Harry Kane. But look at the number of games Sun and Lo Celso played compared to Harry Kane. It's literally 20 games more. I've only just noticed that. So again, Harry Kane... In 41 games, 22 goals, 7 assists. That's not bad at all, guys. But there we have it then. That is going to be the end of the Spurs rebuild. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And again, obviously, we had a little bit of a twist on it. Nuno becoming the manager. Let's sign up five Portuguese players. And as you guys have seen, Pereira and Silva being the main Portuguese players to stay in the team. Just unfortunate Calab uh, Cal Calabria. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce his name. Um, just unfortunate he couldn't grow any faster. Because again, I feel like he could have been definitely... A first team starter for us, but again, he was Italian anyway. Trincao, we signed him just in case we did need backup in, obviously, the team as well. But again, what a team we have built here 
and it just proves by getting a Fino win against Real Madrid. But there we go then. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you have, please don't forget to smash the like button down below on today's video. We can hit over 250 likes. That'd be amazing. And also, guys, if you are new here, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.